Hello everybody, welcome back to the Sarah Myers channel. Today, the wait is almost over. We have one day until the April 16th update, and based on the information that's already been released, I think it's going to be a good one. Now I'm going to start with the good stuff and save the nerdy bug fix stuff for last, but a couple days ago, Gun released a teaser for an upcoming cosmetic pack for Anna. She is getting this beautiful dress in all of these different patterns and colors, similar to the other outfit packs that were released a couple of months ago. This outfit pack will be $4.99, and I'm hoping that the other victims also get their own respective cosmetic packs, although this is the only one that has been teased thus far, and I imagine they'd be showing them off already if they already had more ready to be released by the 16th. But you never know. I definitely didn't think they'd be releasing outfits along with the bug fix patch, but Gun continues to find ways to surprise me. <laughs> Speaking of the bug fix patch, Gun also released the 8th edition of the Muerto Times, and in it, they're claiming that they have fixed the terrible issues with Virginia's skill tree and her cosmetics not unlocking. Hopefully this doesn't cause any other issues to arise with Virginia, since it already kind of felt like we missed out on half the content in the new update with most of the skill tree being unavailable and the outfits only being seen in the Leatherface cutscene. It was already a bit of a drag that there was no new family member, so hopefully these fixes help take the edge off a little bit. As for the other bugs that have been fixed in testing, it looks like Weatherface will be able to be door slammed again. This was so funny on the first day that the update released with people trying to door slam Weatherface and just getting absolutely brutalized once both parties realized that it had no effect. I don't even know how this ended up getting broken, but they've supposedly fixed it now, so all of you Taekwondo users can rejoice. <laughs> Danny's tamper was also completely broken in the content update to where he was only able to tamper the fuse box and not the valve. However, this has now been fixed, so that valve spawn on top of the mill is about to get a whole lot scarier. <laughs> it's been kind of nice just not caring about the valve at all, but the looming threat of a Danny tamper is about to encroach upon us once more. Oh, this is a good one. Sissy's poison will now be able to seep through gaps and crawl spaces again. This was randomly broken in a previous update to where Sissy would spray her poison on a gap, and it would only stay on one side of it, rendering the old strat where you could highlight a victim that went through a gap completely useless. This was actually one of the few things that Sissy Poison was actually good for. She could poison a victim at some of the more powerful loops in the game, and you would be able to see exactly where that victim was going based on the red noise indicator, and then either cut them off yourself or have a member of your team continue the pursuit. As of recently, her poison has only been able to stay on one side of a gap, so victims crossing the threshold of crawl space wouldn't be affected by the poison at all unless you got them before they went through it. But according to Gun, this has now been fixed, so Sissy will be at least a little less frustrating to play. Now, there are also some things listed as under investigation here, which sometimes means that they'll be fixed in the upcoming update, but sometimes it also doesn't. It looks like Grappler and Fast Hands are going to be rebalanced in some way, which I'm assuming means that the values on these perks are going to be adjusted. Right now, Fast Hands is absolutely ridiculous, and Grappler is a guaranteed win in a close encounter, no matter what a victim's health is at. So I'm guessing these are going to be adjusted slightly to give them a little more counterplay. The Leatherface Rev exploit is also being investigated, but it's very vague as to what exactly the Rev exploit is. The only things I could think of were the tech where you could instantly resurrect yourself during a door slam by revving your chainsaw just past 75%, which would prompt Leatherface to stand up off the ground immediately and completely negate the actual door slam stun. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of this happening because I could never get the hang of this because I suck, but I have seen some really good Bubba mains out there who could do it almost every time. So I do actually feel kind of sorry for them because it was actually pretty impressive to watch. The only other thing this might refer to that I could think of was that thing you do where you turn off your chainsaw in order to prevent an overheat, but it seems really odd to refer to that as a rev exploit, so I don't know. Hopefully there's more info on this in the patch notes, if it does actually make it into the next patch anyways. Then there was a mention of Virginia's boon and bone scraps. I have not encountered an issue with either of those things, so I have no idea what this refers to. If you know what this is in reference to, please tell me down in the comments. This must be one of those things that I just never encountered because I usually roll around with lockpicks as Virginia, so I'm really curious as to what this means. Aggressive Virginia mains, please enlighten me below. As for the needs more info section, we have trap and snare animation issues and grandpa interactions. Now, when I saw grandpa interactions, the first thing I thought of was that brief phase where everybody was trapping grandpa. There's also a lot of issues with stabbing him, where you have to be at a perfect angle to even get the prompt that lets you get a stab in. Hopefully, this means that they're going to make it not as pixel perfect to actually start that animation. There's a bunch of stuff I feel like they could do with grandpa to give him some good quality of life changes for both sides, so I'm hoping this inclusion of him in the Muerto Times is the beginning of that. As for trap animation issues, the only thing I could think of was that weird thing that happens when you step in a trap when you're really low health and it just immediately knocks you to the floor in the end cap animation instead of actually playing the animation of you stepping in the snare in the first place. Oh, or it could also be that weird bug with Nancy's traps where you step in one and it completely wrecks your movement for a second like you're running in quicksand. This has personally gotten me killed quite a few times, so I hope this is one of the issues that they're talking about here. A lot of the stuff with traps can be kind of buggy and weird, so it seems like they're aware of it and we'll probably be tuning them up a bit in the future. 
And I think that's everything that has been released thus far in regards to the April 16th update. There's definitely some good fixes in here that I'm excited about, and you know I'm going to be picking up that nice little sundress for Anna. But let me know down in the comments what you are most excited about. And as always, thank you for listening to me ramble about the TCM game, and most of all, thank you for watching. Goodbye.